think this is a huge point to put out. Never again, or maybe, but in human history, never will you be able to have an encouragement to stay home and sit and think like we do right now. It's encouraged globally to stay home and self-reflect in a sense, because what else are you going to do besides you can bore yourself, you can entertain yourself for so long before you really have to just start thinking because if this goes on for three months, four months, you're just going to have to really evaluate your life. There's nothing else you can do. And there's never been a point in history where the government even is paying people to stay home and to think things over. And I think that's where the power is going to come, is where people are going to literally start to re-evaluate things they do. Hey, maybe this promotion that I've been neglecting my children for, for for 10 years is not worth it. Maybe I should spend more time with my kids. But maybe this, maybe I shouldn't go for this job I've been fighting for my whole life. Like, I thought it was so important, and now all of a sudden it has no value to me. Like, I think these questions are going to be asked to each to themselves. And we're going to see some type of transition. I don't know how it's going to turn out, Sammy, but... It's going to be different. Everything's going to be different after this. That's for sure. Whether it's good or bad is 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 going to be time will show that. But different is different, you know. I I think it'll be a little bit bad at first because there's always like a lag. There's always a group of people who feel the change coming and they want to either accept it or reject it mm -hmm. or guide it or control it. Because it's like a raw energy, like an opportunity to, to change things in the way they want things to be. And then there's a whole other like third or fourth group of people who don't even see the change coming. And they just, they just desperately want things to go back to the way they were. Mm -hmm. And in a lot of ways, things are going to be status quo eventually, which, is, which personally terrifies me. Because it, I, there's nothing scarier for me than the loss of information. You know, it's like the, there's this kind of... Like, like black holes are like this kind of existential crisis for me because even, I mean, scientifically there, there isn't a full loss of information, but this is not a science class. It's just the fact that like someone who died was not remembered, you know, or like a beautiful thought you had was not written down. Like these things kill me. These things itch. They itch, man. I hate it so much. And to think that we're going through this drastic change where someone could realize as big as people realizing how the government is fucking us over or not taking care of us, and as small as someone realizing, uh, you know, that they just don't want to be on the path that they're on. If that, if this moment goes to waste, it's it just hurts. It just bothers me because a lot of people are suffering right now in a lot of very unique ways, and it's. Uh, I just, I just, I don't know, it's like my sense of justice or something, but it can't go to waste. There's people who just don't have basic necessities right now. Mm -hmm. And yesterday or a week ago, they were, they were doing fine. Yeah. You know, and like, look, me and you now, we have to, we have to do this thing over the internet. Like, it's, it's uh, little changes, big changes, huge imposed changes. Something has to give. Something has to change. I don't know what it looks like, but I hope it's a bunch of people saying what the fuck is going on. I think just the, I can take comfort in the fact that people are going to just ask more questions. Mm -hmm. You know, they're just going to be like, what am I doing with my life? What, what is really important to me? What is, what is, what kind of power do we have as people? You know, like a lot of what we were talking about in terms of the change and, and the forced seeing of change a lot of it, for me, reflects on how the environment is, like, cleaning itself up, you know? Yeah. Suddenly, people are just, like, indoors for a couple of days or weeks, and, like, China has no smog. Well, that's and, it. Like, and like there was, like, swans in the, in the canals in Italy. You saw that? Where yeah, exactly. I, I, I keep finding articles saying that there's no dolphins, like it was some kind of lie or something, but like the water's still clean. Like, I'm sorry if someone exaggerated the story or yeah. they just saw a dolphin and it's not dolphins. Like, I don't care about the details. The fact is people are realizing that we can just step back as a collective and make change. Yeah. Like you have to kind of stop the ship before you can turn the ship around. Well, that's it. We, were... we can do that. Sorry? I, just we were operating on a momentum of greed and a lot of impulse and a lot of um, feeling entitled. And now that we're on a halt, 
everything's kind of balancing out again, at least a little bit in terms of nature, and and things are starting to pop up back to their natural harmony. And it's just the question is, that when this is all over, did we learn from that, or are we just going to go back on that greed train again and just ride it up to the next disaster?